Bradley with Blue Cord. Thanks for joining us today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I just picked this beauty up yesterday from J&R Sheds. Thanks so much, Jim Hutchins and your crew for having this ready for me so quickly. Now that I have the primary seeder, I plan on doing a series of tests. I'm gonna use this alongside the aerator and notice any differences or similarities in how the grass comes in. As far as manuals go, this has got to be the thinnest one I have ever seen. For an attachment that is so effective, it is remarkably simple in how it works. And in the engineering world, the simpler, the more reliable. I'd like to go over some basic differences between the primary seeder and the aerovator with the Gandhi seed box. If you already are familiar with the aerovator and how the Gandhi seed box operates, you can control the drop rate with a dial. Once you've set that drop rate, you can turn it on electrically and it's either on or off. And you can adjust that drop rate slightly depending on your actual ground speed. The slower you go, the more seed it's gonna drop per square foot. On the primary seeder, however, the major advantage is once you have the drop rate set, it will keep that drop rate per square foot consistent regardless of how fast or how slow your ground speed is. Ventrac recommends a ground speed of three to five miles per hour to get the most consistent results with the primary seeder. What is so awesome about that is that you will get a consistent drop and at a consistent depth because of the way the Colda Packer rollers work, pushing the seed a uniform depth under the surface. The second thing, and of utmost importance to me, is the final finished product of the grading and the seeding. Another huge advantage of the primary seeder over the aerovator with the Gandhi seed box is the aerovator holds about 50 pounds of seed. This holds an upwards of 200 or more pounds. Primary seeder versus the aerovator so if you're interested in the two seeders, you absolutely don't want to miss that. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, hit the notifications bell, and when I do upload those videos, you'll be notified right away. Thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one.